I want to know how you've been during these tough times, staying at home, maybe playing video games. What do you like to do for fun? So believe it or not, I like basically live on a farm. So we have all different animals to take care of, like cows, horses, and we have like dogs, uh, chickens. We used to have everything, like literally sheep, goats, and everything. But now we kind of dialed it back a little bit. Now we just have mm -hmm. the cows and horses. So every single day we have to feed them, take care of them. Some days we got to, you know, clean out the horse stalls, um, you know, check the fence, make sure that the little calves can't get out. So that type of stuff every day. Um, and then, you know, like you just said, I definitely play some video games, uh, watch Netflix. I pretty much watched everything on Netflix now, um, pretty much cleared the entire note or a little service, but, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's been, it, it's, you know, obviously sad with, with everything going on, but at the same time, I think it's good to kind of sit back and relax and, you know, hang out with the family again. You know what I mean? I think we all kind of needed it in some way. Definitely. Where are you from originally? Do you still live where you're from? Yes, uh, Orlando, Florida, kind of in the Orlando area, like Kissimmee, St. Cloud, um, nice. so Central Florida. Yeah, I, I lived in Florida my entire life, same exact area. I moved up to Georgia for like one year, and that's it, and we came right mm -hmm. back. You know, this is our home. We love it. Florida's pretty wild, but uh, yeah, some great things, and it's where Definitely. all my family is. So. And we're here to talk about Sweet Magnolias today. I want to know about the audition process. What was that like for you? So I remember they, my agent manager reached out, said, hey, you know, we had this new Netflix show. Um, here's a few scenes. If you're interested in it, then just go ahead and, you know, film the, these two scenes and send us the tape. And uh, so I was like, this is awesome. I've always wanted to be on a Netflix show. So mm -hmm. I took it in. I read the character of Kyle and I was like, this is awesome. I love, love the character. I love the storyline. Um, I seen Norman Buckley was a part of it, who I, is just incredible, big fan of him. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And uh, I got the call back, I think like two weeks later, maybe three weeks later. And uh, I went all the way up to Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, once again, I'm from Florida, so I had to go all the way up to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I did the in-person callback. And Norman Buckley was in the room. And I can't remember who else was in there, but the, uh, the casting director was also in there and someone else, I can't remember who. Mm -hmm. um, but I did the two scenes, the same exact scenes right in front of them. And uh, I waited, it was a while. It was uh, my, maybe like a month, I think, I had to wait. Wow. And I just assumed, you know, whatever, you know, I, I do so many auditions, it's kind of, you know, as an actor, you kind of learn to, you know, push them to the side. And, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Don't stress yourself out over one. So I was like, all right, you know, whatever, kind of forgot about it. And then I got the call saying, hey, you got it. And it was just incredible because, you know, getting a role in general is amazing. But when you get a role that you want to get, like, an, you know, like Sue Magnolia's, mm -hmm. I know I fell in love with Kyle, my character. Um, so it was so cool to get the job. And I just, it was amazing. For sure. Do you remember where you were when you found out you booked the part? I was, I was at Publix. <laughs> I, was at, I was in the Publix parking lot. Um, us Floridians, we, we love our Publix. And uh, so we were in the Publix parking lot. We just came back out and uh, I got the call and I was like, oh, Tracy, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. And um, she was like, hey, you know, you, you got the role, you got the, the part for uh, Sweet Magnolias. And I was like, this is amazing. And um, I, I was sitting there with my Publix chocolate chip cookie. I was like, yes, this is amazing. Couldn't get any better. Uh, so yeah, I was, def I was in the Publix parking lot. Definitely. That is amazing that it was there to a local spot in Florida. Definitely. And you mentioned you've been acting for a long time. How did you figure out you wanted to be an actor? Um, I've always wanted to be on TV um, when I was little and, you know, I always wanted to go on, on screen and, and, you know, be in Hollywood, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, uh, luckily a friend of ours, uh, the Saltises, you know, uh, her daughter, uh, is an actress herself and she was like hey we can help you get into it if you want to do it my mom wasn't so sure about it because nobody in my family is in the business at all so it was like a whole new thing for us we had no idea what was going on um, but the saltuses really helped us and got us going um, and I started out with like the photo shoots you know magazines uh, and then commercials and then eventually uh, I got a Nickelodeon show in 2015 called Talia in the Kitchen and um, about two or three scenes into the, the shoot, I realized this is what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? It was like my first mm -hmm. big thing. And I, I remember it was just so much fun playing a character, you know, that you could just make up yourself and okay. really just express that on screen and, and in front of the camera. And I had such a fun time with that. And like I said, about three scenes in, I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do. That's a great story. And you mentioned you kind of had creative direction with your character on that show. Do you find yourself being able to express your ideas with Kyle on Sweet Magnolias? Oh, without a doubt. And not just that, I connect with Kyle in a lot of different ways. Kyle's an actor himself, so that's really cool. Um, and then he's also the middle child, you know what I mean? So I know the struggles that come with that. And that's a big part of Kyle's character, especially later in the first season of the show. So 
um, you know, I got to connect with Kyle in a lot of different ways, but also bring myself into it. And, um, you know, I sat down and talked with the writers a lot and, you know, really kind of gave my insight, but also their insight. It was a blast. I mean, it was just, it was really cool. Like I said, taking a character that I, I really enjoy, but bringing yourself into it. Do you have any differences to your character? Um, Kyle is, uh, he is very sensitive. Um, you know, he can, someone can easily play with his poor little heart and, uh, you know, he can take it for the worst. For sure. Um, I'm uh, not, I'm really not sensitive at all. Um, so that's kind of a total different area for me. Um, but I, I definitely, um, study the character a lot. Um, you know, looked at him in a lot of different ways. And like I said, talked with the writers, talked with the directors mm -hmm. and, you know, really had, you know, took their insight on the character as well. So all those things that I don't have in common with Kyle, I could still, you know, translate in the best way as possible. Definitely. Have you ever played a character similar to Kyle or have your past roles been different? All my roles have been so much, uh, they just been so different, so diverse. Um, my character in uh, Talia in the Kitchen in my 2015 Nickelodeon show, he kind of was going through the same thing. He was very sensitive. Um, you know, he, he had a lot of, of, of feelings that he wasn't really expressing mm -hmm. and that's kind of with my character Kyle in Sweet Magnolias you know what I mean he kind of hides everything and eventually you know kind of brings it all out at once with like a one big outburst and that kind of is the same thing that happens with um with Vinny my character in Lee in the Kitchen um so there is that connection there I've really never thought about that great question um and then for Sweet Magnolias are you filming on location or are you in California for the show so we film in Atlanta Georgia um so yeah we filmed in this little town called covington which i love it's so cool it's it, they call it the hollywood of the south mm -hmm. um like uh, so many things are filmed like the originals was filmed there dukes of hazard i mean so many big shows and, and movies were um filmed there and uh so you know they're not new to the uh, movie industry everybody <laughs> was so welcoming there's like this little covington square it's like this little plaza and um it was so amazing and, and they had a lot of, like all these old stores and like this old fire department it was really cool, and um, I love that little town, um, and it was just amazing. And I love Georgia overall. I mean, the energy that you get from Atlanta and Georgia, there's nothing like it. For sure, and I know there's a lot of younger actors like yourself on the show. Do you find yourself hanging out with them, maybe going around the town when you're not working? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Um, we became really close, especially the kids in the show. Carson, mm -hmm. Anna, uh, Simone, we all really became close because everybody else were way older than us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so we, we definitely talked a lot. Uh, we did a lot of things together, and uh, we still stay in contact to this day, talk all the time. Um, and, you know, because it's just, you know, it, it's – there's nothing like it. You know, you become like a family. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You work with these people. We shot this show for about four months. Working almost every day, four months with these people, you know, you just, you know everything about them. You get so close to them. They literally become a second family. Um, and because of that, yeah, we're, we're really good friends and we all stay in contact. Favorite scene or episode that you filmed with them? Um, that's a really tough question. Um, I think episode 10, the final episode, uh, without giving too much away, there's a big prom scene at the end. And uh, that leads to some very serious, crazy stuff and a big cliffhanger at the end. Um, but that was really fun to shoot because all the kids were there in that scene and so many other actors and actresses were there. So when we weren't filming and, you know, they were doing blocking or whatever they were doing, uh, getting the camera set up, you know, we would be in the waiting room or just chilling there, or, you know, wherever we were, uh, maybe by crafting, getting some snacks. And we would just be talking and having such a good time um, because everybody was there. So the conversation was never dead. We were having such a blast. Um, and, uh, we were talking everything from movies, just literally everything. And we just had such a good time. So episode 10, the final episode is probably my favorite to shoot for a lot of different reasons. And if you watch the show and if you've seen the final episode, everybody listening and watching, then <laughs> yes, you know exactly why it's my favorite episode to shoot. That's great. And then what can fans expect to see from your character? Or what do you want to see from your character moving forward? You know, um, my character, okay. So I think... He never did a scene with Dana Sue, played by Brooke Elliott. Mm -hmm. And every time we did a table read, which is where we read over the script for the first time with all the cast, I would talk with Brooke. Brooke was literally the nicest person ever. But Kyle and Dana Sue never did a scene together. So I never got to work with Brooke Elliott. So I really hope that we eventually uh, work together. Um, I also want to see uh, Simone Lockhart plays Nellie um, in the show. And that's kind of Kyle's kind of love, mm -hmm. love interest. 
and we really don't see too much of that except for like the pat like the last like two or three episodes Mm -hmm. um so i want to explore that a little bit more there's a lot of kyle's past a lot of kyle's feelings um that once again he hides so much that the audience really doesn't know what's going on with him so -hmm. i really hope and you know if there is going to be second season fingers crossed um we do get to see more of kyle and his feelings uh toward really everything for sure since you play the character kyle you kind of mentioned he has a lot of things that people don't know about him what's like one thing that you think people would be surprised by from your character um let's see that that's a very tough tough question um you know I think Kyle is um or what's a misconception about him that's like a different way yeah that's really really tough you know I I think Kyle is a lot stronger than people think Mm -hmm. he's sensitive but he's strong and he's a fighter and I think um, I got that just from reading his character breakdown from really since I got the audition. But it really, you know, as I worked with this character once again for four months straight, five months really, um, you know, I, I got to learn a lot about him. And I think he, he's very strong and is stronger than a lot of people give him credit being. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully, and if you watch the final episode once again with that cliffhanger at the end, you'll see, I feel like we'll, we'll see that strong side of Kyle. He'll change a little bit. He'll see life in a whole new perspective. And because of that, I think you will see that stronger side of Kyle that I personally see um, in the first season. So hopefully season two, we get to see that side of Kyle. That's great. And you mentioned your character is a strong one. Did you do anything specific to prepare for your role or how did you kind of get into the mindset of your character? So, um, like I said, it it took a lot of um, time by myself, you know, looking at this character, uh, the character breakdown that they gave me a more in-depth one after I got the role. Um, you know, reading that, that first, uh, those first couple episodes, cause we did two episodes at a time, uh, looking at, you know, how, how he was portrayed in those other scenes I haven't seen yet. And also, like I said, I sat down with the writers, um, and you know, I talked with Cheryl, the showrunner and the writer as well. And, uh, you know, I just talked about, you know, her, what her thoughts on the character was, you know what I mean? What she wanted to see, what Kyle may be, um, what she wants to see maybe by the end, you know what I mean? What she wants to see in the character development throughout the season. Just those, you know, different types of questions, uh, those kind of base questions that uh, I wanted to kind of get, you know, uh, out of the way. Um, but they were incredible. They talked with me. They gave me a lot of different perspectives on, on the character that I really haven't looked into as much yet. Um, and they really helped me with that. So definitely a lot of talking, a lot of thinking, a lot of working, a lot of writing, a lot of different stuff went into it. Um, but I think it turned out very well in the end. Definitely. That's really nice. They, they let you and they sat down with you and talked with you th- through the character. That's really important. You can't expect to see on upcoming episodes of the show. Um, you know what? If only I knew. <laughs> I, like I said, um, we don't even know if a season two is going to happen yet. We really do mm-hmm. think so. Uh, it was like number one on Netflix for like three days. Um, and with everything with the cliffhanger at the end, uh, there's a lot of different places where they can go with it. Um, I don't know if I can talk spoilers on here. Um, can I? Um, if you want to. I can't. Okay. Spoiler alert for everybody that's watching right now. Um, but, uh, so with the cliffhanger, with the, the car crash at the end of the show, um, I feel like you, there, there, there's a lot of stuff going on there. They don't know who else is in the car. My character's in the car, but they don't know who the passenger is. And depending on who that passenger is, is going to lead to a lot of conflict going on because in the show, you know, the, 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 the um, the town is so small. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody's intertwined. So when something happens to one person, it affects literally every single character in the show. So um, depending on who the, you know, uh, other character is in the car, you know, there's going to be some serious stuff going on. So no telling what's going to happen there. I was talking with the writers. I want a holiday episode. I don't care if it's Christmas, Halloween, whatever it is. I want to have some kind of holiday episode uh, in the second season. So uh, Netflix does that a lot. So hopefully we get a holiday episode as well. That would be really fun. And lastly, where can fans find you on social media and stay connected with you? Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, it's Logan Allen. You put it's before it. Uh, and that's a very weird username, but you know, that's all I could find. Logan Allen was taken. So, but yeah, go ahead and follow me there. I post all the time. I post some um, BTS of Sue Magnolias, uh, some really cool photos that are, you don't see anywhere else. Um, I, I tweet all the time. So make sure you guys go follow me there for some really cool stuff. And I do live videos as well with some of the other cast. That sounds awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I hope you stay safe.